the queen of Broadway. Now the plays are closing opening nights. I'm sorry, Pip. I guess the world just isn't ready for Dickens in the 30th century. All the money you gave me? Yeah. That's gone. Um, I guess you can't be a gentleman now. Well, at least I still have a Stella. Sorry, Pip. I'm going to start from Charles Dickens' original version. That's the version that does that unhappily. I'm off to marry a rich man who beats me. You can go back and look at Joan and Biddy. Have a nice life. Oh. Now I have nothing. That kid is show business. Um, hello? Ms. Bialystok? Um, I'm the accountant you need to do your books. Is anyone here? You're an accountant, eh? An accountant for yourself. What are you doing, barging in here uninvited? I, I, the, the door was open. I, I, need, I needed to go over your books and then get to it. Yes, Miss Piazza. Hello? Dominic Frank? No? No. I haven't seen her lately. She's probably at some party. Called Jay Gatsby. He's always throwing something or another. No, I don't think he's going to get Daisy to come over there either. I mean, she lives in East Egg. He lives in West Egg. What are the chances of that happening? <laughs> yeah. Dominic did what to her fireplace? Why? Rorick. Never heard of him. Isn't her fireplace the thing with the Miss Havisham and the fire? That whole thing? Ha! Ah, I was right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's tragic. Anyways, I'll, I'll tell her you called if she stops by. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I gotta go now. Bye. Miss Vyadstock, I think I've got a problem in your books. Do you have a minute? Call me Maxine. A problem in the books? One minute. All right. Ready? Go. You're going to time me? Time is money. 55 seconds. Well, uh, there's a problem in one of your books. 42 seconds. Come on, speak up. 39. Be honest, Doc, I... 38. I can't 36. function under these conditions. What is that? This nothing. Nothing. If it's nothing, why can't I see it? Then you'll go to jail. 
You would have sold over a thousand percent, which you can only sell hundred percent up. There would be no way to pay off the backers. We could do it. We? Do what? No! Find a surefire flop. Hire lousy actors. Bad director. Raise two million dollars and go to Rio. It would never work. And besides, I'm an honest person. You'll get to be a Broadway producer. A Broadway producer? Well, what do you say? We could do it. I guess I'll give it a try. Mancina, I'm exhausted. We're never going to find a surefire flaw. Well, let's see. Mitch Album decides to visit his dying professor in Mori. Or it was a man who danced like no one watched and listened to students like it was the most important thing in the world. Too sad. A young girl, Melinda, is raped at a party. She has to find herself again and come to terms with the traumatizing event. Too vital. Max, we're never going to find it. We're never going to find it, hey? Here, the worst play ever written, a surefire flop. What? Let me see. A Craisin in the Sun. What kind of title is that? What is it about? No idea. But a title like this? This can't be good. We'll read it later. But for now, we need to find a director. A director. Mm -hmm. Director and engagement with the show. Here's one. Alfred Hitchcock. Never heard of him. He's perfect. Now, the actors. Oh, first up, Napoleon. Napoleon who? Bonaparte? Just Napoleon. Um, very well. What are you going to do for us? Today, I will sing, or talk through with my voice inflection, a song of my people. <clears throat> beasts of England, beasts of Ireland, beasts of every land and clime. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Next! Stupid, filthy, rotten capitalists! Communism forever! <gasps> okay, next! I am cranberry. I, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that one. A cranberry! Gentlemen, Miss Maxine Bialystok and Miss Leona Bloom proudly present A Crazen in the Sun. Surprise smash. Crazen in the Sun is brilliant. No way out. Sure to be part put into the high school English curriculum for much longer than necessary. No way out. Now they like me. No way out. You two. I think you'd better come with us. <laughs> I don't I don't know what you mean, officer, but I I can tell you honestly that we haven't done anything recently that uh -huh. would get us in trouble with you. <laughs> we, we don't need you put in here. Um no, 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 what are the handcuffs for? We don't need the handcuffs. Mom, no. Congratulations. You now own 28% of STEMs for Algernon. Next, please. Take it. Thank you. Huh. How much have we sold so far? 600%. Keep selling. We open Saturday nights. 